and the 133, and here we go. You tell us if you feel anything, darling, okay? Mm -hmm. And you can see I'm just melting away. You feeling it? Mm -hmm. Just a teeny bit. Are you alright? Mm -hmm. okay. And the assistant will wipe this off. And it should be just like a laser movement. And if you notice, I don't have a whole lot of smoke. This is a perfect setting right now for this patient. And if I had a lot of sparking, then I would want to turn it down a little bit. Can you now, one more time to go back and forth over this lesion. And I basically just touch it very lightly to burn it down a little bit. And I'm taking it just very, very, ever so slightly lower than the actual base of the lesion. Now, hopefully just gently go to the absolute outside of the skin edge. And this is where my marking pen helps me. And I'll just bevel a little bit so I don't have that steep drop off at uh, the crater. Now you can see on that lesion and you can see that'll spark a little bit. So that's how we treat that lesion. And since the, this is not a real deep lesion, I'm going to be pretty conservative and just take this through just like I'd be taking Again, if this was a hot, a hot spoon or knife and I was going through a stick of butter. It, it, it keep wipe half of it off. And you can see that it's just not very deep. It doesn't take much. So these lesions really do well with just a, a superficial treatment. because you can just about scrape these off with your fingernail and so you don't need to treat over treat these and again I'll just go over and I want a nice flat base so I'll just go over here and kind of smooth it down with a little pecking action that we've described make sure I don't have any precipitous edges And that's gonna look that's gonna look great. Right. Usually on these pedunculated lesions, but again I just don't like to keep switching back and forth. So I'll just take the base off with the uh, 133 and then go back and these are pedunculated, but we'll just go to the base here and take them off. Again, you could very easily use a loop, but you really don't have to switch back and forth. That's why I like this electrode. It's very versatile. And what I'm doing is just kind of rubbing through the middle of the lesion and drying it up. And 